Hello everyone, did you see this gun before? <laughs> this is the same gun that I have made two videos about. This is Dyna 280 Classic. I did modifications to these guns. So I removed all the sights from here and from the front. And I have put in RWS air gun scope and I have put a muzzle brake in here. This muzzle brake is gonna help me with the accuracy and this will also help me to pop the gun easily so your angle of approach is pretty like this it's very cool so now today i'm gonna do the tuning inside the gun and i will tell you how it's done so let's get going Let me take this apart, that is uh, the next step is. So there are one screw here, one there, and one this screw in here. So I will just take it away and then. I have bought uh, a, a torque uh, screwdriver in here. But this really helps because uh, if you use this one you are gonna tie these screws to the proper weight and then at the same time uh, you will not over tight and put it in the threads inside so uh, this is a good investment this is uh, around 100 bucks from Amazon uh, and then uh, it comes with a lot of bits in here so you don't have to struggle with the bits and finding out this stuff so you make sure uh, the bit fits into this one 100 percent so there's many square bits in here so i'm gonna try which one fits and then i'm gonna spin this screw So you need to remove the barrel if you have to take out the piston from inside and I am willing to take out the piston from inside so uh, this is uh, that's why I am just uh, taking everything apart and uh, once you once you remove the system the bigger system that you are not gonna leave they are very critical components there are some washers around in here they are factory washers please do not lose these they are uh, uh, they are not gonna be found easily you will have to order them so I'm gonna just uh, wrap it nicely Just put it at a secure place. There are two pins in here. We need to remove those two pins. But uh, before we do that, let's take this cap out from here. So I, I have a video for this one. If you are interested, you can go and then uh, check that one. All right. So this is here, like this. And, uh, let's put it somehow somewhere. idea here is that uh, I am gonna compress the spring in take out these two pins and then slowly take it out if you see this one in the jig in here so th th this is uh, what stops so you put this in nicely like this okay and you and you see this is there is a trigger in here so uh, it cannot go all the way in so you have to put just just enough and then tighten it up a bit like this. So. so this this has come out easily, and then a 
other one has also come out easily. So you apply enough pressure here, right? And then you slowly take it out. Slowly, very slowly. And make sure this does not disengage here. So otherwise uh, it can. So you stay away from harm's place. So you see, everything is coming out nicely. Most of uh, this uh, uh, load for the spring is already out, so now it's very easy to remove. It will not uh, really hurt anyone. All right, so this is the trigger assembly. Now everything is removed, so now you don't need this jig, you just untie it and then take this out. This is the piston spring that has come out of this one and I will demonstrate something. So I took out this spring and we put it inside. You see, so there is a lot of space around this spring. And this is where the spring can vibrate and uh, uh, it will affect the aim, the accuracy of the rifle and things like that. So you need to reduce this, uh, this space uh, inside this one. So what you do, you put in a, in a sleeve and the best material for that one is, uh, is a PTF sheet. So I ordered this from eBay, it took a while to arrive, but I had already planned everything beforehand and uh, so this is uh, the PTF sheet. Uh, this is 0.5 mm thick. So it's gonna reduce, it will not be very tight, but it's gonna just take away uh, that uh, extra uh, play there. And remember when uh, you load the gun, the spring expands a bit as well. So you will need to have uh, that much space anyways and when the spring fires it's gonna hit the PTF it's very strong material and this is permanently looped so even if you don't put any grease it will be still okay so this is how I cut out the Teflon it's, it's a hit and trial method you have to be exactly matching and this should be touching like this there should not be any gap there and you cut the notches like this okay and then you fold it up like this and uh, then you put inside the inside the piston in here. So you put it like this, nice and easy. And this portion doesn't have to come in here; it has to be on the other side. So like this. Right. So you push that in. Now look, this is going really tight in here. So and make sure this stays tight. There is no overlap. So you take your time, put it nicely. Remember, this is very slippery stuff. So you can make a wrong cut and then you have to go again. And then uh, this is how it looks. All right, so push that in, push, 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 push. Push, 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 push. So this is uh, almost gone in, but then you have to use not very sharp stuff, but the soft, maybe some plastic things like that to push it all the way in. And this will go inside. And uh, then you cushion it with a, a thin uh, washer, like this one. And then you cushion it. And uh, the, the spring is gonna ride on top of this one. Okay, before we, we go there, I have demonstrated it to you, so... Uh, the next thing I have to do is basically uh, see how this seal fits inside the cylinder. This is where I was saying that uh, this is an extreme tuning. If uh, somehow you are not uh, so comfortable about it, if you because if you cut, over cut it then uh, you can be in trouble then you have to buy another seal and things like that so you have to be very meticulous you have to be 
uh, really uh, slow with the process and then make sure uh, uh, this seal fits is too tight that means you are not getting the full power is too low you are done then you have to get uh, another, uh, another uh, seal for this one so for this one i have this weight which is three pounds fortunately it has a tap here so i want to make sure uh, when i put this like this and piston like this i put on top of this one then it should just slide it you should not drop it by its own way so i will do that in the process and uh, see how much weight it's taking at this moment if it goes down then i don't, don't have to do anything to the to the piston seal but if it is harder push that in so i have to take um slightly away this uh, circumference in here very very little very little and then uh, see how it goes inside and this is the process that i will show you look inside there it's pretty clean but I still see a few things inside there so I'm gonna just uh, take that out as well try to take that out and uh, you don't use any abrasive stuff in here so I'm gonna use this oil a bit in here just a drop and then just wet the seal this is just to measure how much force really I need and to put this inside, I this is I made from the plastic uh, cut out of from uh, the water bottle. This is very thin, and this is gonna help slide in uh, the, the seal inside. This is 10 pounds. Will it move? Yes, it moves. <laughs> so it took 10 pounds to move that seal. One of the mods, this is an extreme mod that this seal is sticking out just way too much. So I will measure how much is that and probably I'm gonna just uh, remove maybe half, half an mm from top of this one and then polish it. And then from the sides I'm gonna just remove maybe one in ten thousandth of an inch and that's all i'm gonna just see how deep is this one point two seven mm and in inches this is uh, 0 0.050 inches so so that means uh, i have to just uh, shave it up probably 0.5 so it goes to 0.75 mm and that will give me even uh, this one so this just gets polished and this gets closer to the front of the cylinder so if the compression is gonna be better So see this uh, now 0.93 mm and this is so smooth inside so this is done now I have to just polish it this is my kitchen uh, item to sharpen the knife 
so this one I'm gonna use this stuff this is pretty cool so this is 1000 grit this is 6000 grit so I'm just gonna polish it at 6000 grits just a little so that this the surface becomes really really smooth and flash and polished that's it just a hint very little I could see the resistance there so if you do it more you just gonna blow away the material from uh, on the seal and you don't want to do that So this is uh, a little bit of weight that I'm gonna put in front of uh, the piston that will go inside there. So so that because I'm using a little bit heavier pellets, so that will uh, prevent the piston to bounce. So this is what I'm gonna use for that one, and this is the piston guide. So now next step is. Put it together and before we do that we need to uh, basically lubricate it put in some little bit of grease not too much too much is not always good And see this one I polished with my 1000 grit I took off the material with, with 220 and then 1000 so just put a bit of grease in here so much just and then I'm gonna bring my jig in here and uh, then basically just reverse the process and then we are done basically with this gun. And then I'm gonna test fire it and then see is there any improvement with the cycle. There should be some. <coughs> is a must and you have to put it uh, you have to put it back the same way that you took it out When you put in uh, the sleeve, uh, this is really important because uh, every Dana has this issue. Uh, when you put in the sleeve, then uh, the, I mean the cylinder sleeve, that white stuff there, uh, Teflon. So you have to touch it from here because this is too long uh, and then uh, it, it doesn't work well. It's gonna rip off the sleeve actually. So you have to touch it like this. With a hand filer or anything this is very tough material so you have to take your time and just uh, make sure that uh, this is touched and this is nice and smooth like curved so that it goes inside easily
without this step the tuning of this gun is complete and now I have to basically uh, fire it and then show the data with you what is the improvement.